This guy's just having a nap, I guess. What are you doing, guy? You faking dead? Get up now. He's still, he's just a lot. Oh. Yeah, he was dead. What's up, everybody? T Wag's back here for another game to play. We've got Planet Side 2. Um, this is a very fun game. I am highly addicted to it. For those who have not played it and have a PS4, play it. Add me. Play. We play together. Um, I played a lot with my buddy Paddle Meat last night. Go check out his channel if you've not. He's got a bunch of hilarious videos. I almost pissed myself on a bunch of them. But we're going to go ahead and jump right into this game here. This is Planet Side 2. Um, again, free. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just love this fucking game so much. Massive, open world, constant war. A lot of fun. We're going to get right into it here. So, okay. you guys, um, come here often, or is it just a seasonal, seasonal thing, or what? And here we are, we're in, time to go, looks like we're fighting on the old eastern front here. Um, so let me talk about this game a little bit. What this game is, is that there are five continents, and there are three teams. There's a Terran Republic, the conglomerate, and... The stupid ass purple team. I hate the purple team. Uh, but the three teams are fighting over. Let me show you. Three teams are fighting over these three areas. Um, so as you can see, Colter is where you start. When you start, you start as a level 10. Or you start as a, a non level, excuse me, and you fight until you're level 10, and then you're allowed to travel to these other places. So you got these different four. Um, four different countries. This is just a shooting range. It gets you some time to get in there and check it out. Um, but the main goal is to take all four of these. However, there's still people on these continents that's not on your team fighting to take them back. So once they take an outpost back, then it's a spawn point for the other teams. Right now we're fighting on a Marish, which seems to be a... Um, kind of a mix between the three mix between the three companies if you look back at the map go back a couple minutes you can see that uh, the pie chart has them at three personally I like playing as heavy assault um, I think it's the best because you get a rocket launcher you get kinetic armor I don't know how I'm invisible and I can't climb up now there we go so we're in. yep I, uh, I first played as the conglomerate um, I like them because they looked the most military-like, and I thought that was really awesome. Um, but then when Paddle Meat talked to me and we were going to start a new game, we had to start... Ah, 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 damn it. We had to start a new character, so we allowed us to play together. It's just something really annoying at this game. If you want to play with your friends, you all have to start at the same time. Um, oh, I got team killed? That's some bullshit. As you can see, it's just, you got our tanks here, you got their tanks here. It's a great view of the battlefield. Um, this guy's just having a nap, I guess. What are you doing, guy? You faking dead? Get up now. He's still, he's just a lot. Oh. Yeah, he was dead. Shit. Like I said, add me, add Paddle Meat. His, his name is Paddle Meat. Um... I was going to pick T-Wags, however, I could not pick it because I had already created a character. Oh, shit, they took it. So, what happened is we just lost the facility to the purple team. Which I do not like. Excuse me, guy, did I just throw that at my feet? Where's that grenade? Oh, yep. God damn it. So it looks like we're at the next facility that is safe. I think. We, I'm getting shot at, I think. No, alright. I'm gonna try and find a vehicle bay. Um, I wanna get one of these spawn. No? 
Okay. Oh, I was jumping in the wrong one. Oops. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. As you can see, it's just a massive world, and it's all rendered right away. This is all already here. This is. It doesn't have to be so. For a game of this size with three different, sorry, four different continents to be rendered like it's nothing is just, just baffling. It's crazy to think that they could do something like that. Their servers must be unreal. I do not believe this is a cross-platform game. It might be, but I don't think it is. So this bad boy... Here, we've got a tank. We got a little uh, four wheeler. Some kind of Jeep. I don't have that unlocked yet. And then this guy. This guy's my favorite. Um, so I'm about to spawn in that. There we go. This guy's a, a mobile spawn point. Um, the cannons on top are very powerful, but the mobile spawn point, it's just very helpful for your team. If you can get it, like, can, like hidden around a base that you're assaulting. Go ahead and take a look at where we're going. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and all right. We're gonna go attack that facility down there because looks like they're minding their own business. It's a little slow, hard to control, um, but the guns on the top it really it just pulls together. It's a solid vehicle, I like it, especially when it's packed with guys. Um, another cool aspect about this game is that the war is always happening. There is never... There is never a time when there's not a fight happening in this game. You could get off, you can go to sleep, you can come back and play three and a half months later. And it's... you can't... You, the war is still going on. Um, it changes hands a lot. People get the upper hand. Um, you can lose and gain power very easily. Yeah, it's just, it's just a mind-bafflingly amazing game. I love this game so much, and the fact that it's free, that's another huge plus. How the fuck do we get in this place? Jesus. Well, I don't think we're gonna be able to get up that way. All right. Guess we're gonna run all the way the fuck back here. I just don't know how the fuck to get up there. I guess I'm an idiot because I feel like there's like a staircase somewhere. There is. That's a staircase right there. Well, I'm glad I took a nice tour around the entire map. Only to come back to that fucking staircase. Running, 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 running. Okay, maybe in here? Can we go through here? Let's find out. We hold the facility. Um. I don't know what's, I don't really know what's going on in terms of attacking and stuff, but right now it's up. Oh god. Okay. Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and take the Sunderer and we're gonna go to... So this is where we are. Um, we wanna fight. We wanna... Or should I go take that station? I could probably take that by myself, yeah. Alright, here we go. On our way. Looks like we got a guy um, that was just killed. Which is good, but the facility is ours, so we're gonna go hop and hop in the Sunderer. Make our moves to the next assault. So I think we should take this. Oh, we can't take that. No, yeah, we can. I think I'm gonna go take that next because that cuts off blue. Because now blue can spawn behind us from that base, so we're gonna go take that. No. No. You're kidding me. Come on. God damn it. 
Come on. No. Oh. Uh. Let's drop my water bottle. Well. That's another great thing about this game. These fucking walls aren't destructive. Hey. Okay, map. We're going. Yeah, we're just gonna go along this road and then drive straight into it. It's that facility right there. So up that hill. And here we go. They have a they have a um, shields blocking the vehicle entrance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and there's a guy right there. Let's see if we can get him. He went invisible. Of course he did. Fucking pussy. All right, we're gonna move up there. Got him. This is a generator to take out the vehicle shield, so we're gonna... Oh. Overload it then? I thought we had to shoot it and blow it up. Taking this out allows us to bring the Sunderer in. So in two minutes that's gonna overload and blow and then we can bring our Sunderer inside. Which is what the aim is gonna be. Looks like there's a Sunderer to our left. Enemy Sunderer? Oh, it's a gunship. That's the, the ship I want. I mean, this guy, I think this guy's kind of been following me around. We've been working together, so. Seems like a cool dude. Got gunfire coming in, I think. Yep. There's a sniper up there. I got him. No. Got him. Now I got a headshot. I think these rockets drop. That's gonna blow. I don't know if that kills me when it blows. That's his enemy Sunderer, though. Ow. So that means that the shield. Yep, the shield is destroyed. This gun reminds me a lot of a saw. The, uh, the saw machine gun. Which I think is probably why I like it so much. Alright, so there's a sniper up there. The Sunderers are dead. I'm gonna take my Sunderer and move it in closer. It's in a good spot, but I wanna be able to. No. Come on. In the words of Jeremy Clark, speed and power. There we go. Jeremy Clarkson, you're my man. Oh, you can't really... 
I mean, <sighs> all right. I guess I'm just gonna put it back because, as you can see, y you can't really bring it in there. Well, you can, but you see that red circle, red reddish circle? Yeah, you can't. You can't go past that. Thank you so so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, more videos coming out every single day. Um, comment below. Let me know what games you want to see. You want to see more of this. You want to see more of something else. Haven't had a comment yet, so you'll be the first. Uh, thank you s again. Thank you. I couldn't thank you enough for watching. Um, I appreciate you taking time out of the day to check this out. It does mean a lot to me. And have a good one. Peace.